continue with our discussion uh, over Saturday brunch. Uh, we are going to show you a clip of what we start talking about in our little discussion group on Saturday uh, after we all ate about uh, black men and white women. And uh, my perception is simply this. Uh, it's just not true. I, I really don't understand why black women try to teach other black women this lie. You know, you'll have black women tell their daughters that, um, hey, you know, um, black men, you know, they all date white girls. And like I said, dating is just screwing around. Dating is not marriage. You know, it's kind of like why you don't see a lot of white guys marrying black women. You know, when you go on some of these personal sites, you got a lot of black women begging white guys for dates. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But, you know, I, I did a little uh, study on a personal site where uh, I went in at a, uh, and you guys can try it. Try it. Put it to the test. I went in as a uh, white female. I signed up as a white female and I was looking for black male. I didn't get a lot of attention and I didn't find a lot of black males were looking for white females online. When I did a search of people looking for people like me, I didn't get a lot of black men who had uh, put on their uh, profile you know, seeking all races or seeking white women specifically. So when I put on that, it, it kind of kicked back uh, a, a mix. You know, some black men, some white men, some Spanish men. Now I also went and did, because this was a research thing that I did, uh, I also went and did as a white male uh, looking for a black female. And I mean, I was rushed. I mean rushed, rushed, and I put up a picture of an average white male, he wasn't a, a, a super attractive cat, you know, he was a old navy looking guy, a little scruffy, and when I say the black women rushed, they rushed, um, and also when I put in a, a thing of people looking for people like me, crazy as the sound, now you guys do your own test, but crazy as the sound, 60 to 70 percent of the people looking for people like me was black women looking for white guys. It was like a sea of black faces. So, you know, but then you look at how many, and you can go to census.gov and check out my research and, and let you know that I'm not just doing opinion. You know, you go to census.gov, you don't see a lot of white guys marrying black women. You see some. But you don't see a lot. And uh, you see more black men marrying black women. Like I tell people, you know, you may have went to one wedding invitation where the guy was white and the woman was black. But more than likely, you went to two or three black on black marriage. You know, it's just, you know, I can't even, as a black male on this earth, you know, who, you know, have dated all type of races. I can't even say that I've been to too many weddings where the male was black and the woman was white. So, you know, and that's just me as a black male. But uh, let's get into this. Uh, let me let you hear what the group was talking about. And like I said, if you guys want to get on our uh, guest list, uh, just look up, uh, you know, uh, Clean and Classy on Facebook. Uh, we're doing this once a month. And, uh, you know, we hopefully it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. But a lot of men, when they got money in Atlanta, because this is where we live, in Atlanta, you know, they have so much money and there's so many women to men. Right. And they can do what they want to do for such a long time. They can run around and be with all the pretty girls and do this and do that. Then they go get the prettiest girl so you think and go marry them. My experience <laughs> is that... uh. You know, a lot of times you, you, you come into a situation, once again, it's the newness of everything. And uh, what was it, Al? You said that it's like a facade in the beginning, in the early stages. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, you know, bones start falling out the closet. 
And it's like, I'm not ready to deal with this. I'm not, well, no, no. I'm not going to deal with this. From what I see, a lot of white women, they know they're wrong. I'm not saying black women don't know they're wrong. But white men, I am. they know they're in wrong. In a lot of cases, I'll take the heat on that. I'll say that now, a lot. They don't know speaking, they're wrong. Now, speaking, because I'm a Christian, they know that they, what they're supposed to do, and they do that. How many black soccer moms do you see? Oh. No. I'm, just, I'm just using an example. White women know that they get married. They all black moms. They do what they're supposed to do to take care of the household, and that's it. They don't give their, their husbands uh, grief and drama when they come and home. And they get fat at 35. Fine, yeah. but they have to see what Okay, but that's all. <laughs> so when black women, everything is so superficial. Black women um, worry about y'all, the society. Y'all, right, y'all worried about everything outside of what's the core and importance of your relationship. Quick to listen to what your friends uh, are saying can, and what your man is saying. Make me happy. Don't make your friends happy. Not, not all. Not all. Not all. Can, you can't place anything well, on everybody just in general life. But I mean, right. like, we working with, all of us know, this is a majority rule, period, in most cases. Anybody you run into, in most cases, I bet you you can pin most of these things on the black woman. Good, evil. How do you know the difference? Absolutely. All right? Um, I mean, that's just the way it is. I agree. And I'm speaking from experience. If it had not been for my previous relationship before meeting my wife, and that woman being just like that woman that was acting like that, <laughs> Tanya. All right, Tanya. Tanya. I, would, I, would, I would not. Been, hey, I would not have been able to appreciate my wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She taught me something. I was smart enough and mature enough, even though I went through hell with that woman. Right. I was smart enough and mature enough to take the positive out of that. She taught me what I needed to know about myself. Good. And what was I, necessary I to, 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 yeah. To, yeah. to sustain a relationship. And to be married, because I knew I wanted to be married, but I knew that woman was not for me. Is independence a factor? I think it is. As a single woman who is independent, you got the struggle of meeting people, and you got to figure out what they want from you. A lot of guys are nowadays kind of want to live off of you. I want to move in. You kind of take care of me, and then it's just a struggle when you get everything. Like he, if he has a house, you have a house. It's People's lives are getting so independent that it's hard to come together. Women have to have their have to have their moral center, but the men also have to have their moral center. Absolutely. So if you're gonna go out there as a woman and you're looking to get it's with a guy, it's a joint venture. Start. I mean, <laughs> heck, he's gonna interview you. You interview him. Find out where his moral center is. Don't look for some. You know I mean, in all honesty, don't look for someone who says, "Yeah, I'm ready for marriage." No, you got to be ready to marry a person. You just can't be ready for marriage. The same thing with women. Oh, I'm marriage minded. Well, good. You go find marriage and marry. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you got to be ready to marry. I wasn't ready to be married until I met Qatar. This is when I became ready to be married. So when you, I mean, when you're out there talking to people, interviewing, find out what their moral center is. What, what are they really about? Like wanting to be married and ready to be married heart. are two different things. Exactly.